asking and receiving is the relationship that you develop. So in the Bible, it said, ask and you shall receive. But you also need to have a relationship with the being you're asking. So if you're asking Lakshmi, please give me these blessings. Please give me these blessings. I need money. I need a car. I need a new job. I need this. I need my family needs this. Like we're, we've, we're bombarded with material desires that uh, we need taken care of, right? And it's easy to say, well, I'm just going to ask. But what's not easy is actually developing the relationship so that when you ask, you can receive it. It's as if you are working with anyone in your life, right? Like, let's say you need an investment <laughs> for a company. If you just walk, you know, walk, went to somebody you didn't know and just asked them, they'd probably not maybe take you seriously. But if you developed a relationship with someone and over years they knew who you were, they knew where you were coming from, you put the effort into it then the likelihood of them responding to you will be greater. And it's not different for the gods and goddesses. When we glorify them, when we speak to them, when we hold them in our hearts day in and day out, night and day, they get to know us. We get to know them. Guess what? The relationship has quickened the response. And that's your effort. That's your part. So don't just go to Lakshmi or anybody and just ask for what you want without developing a relationship first, without first glorifying them, without first praising them, without first getting to know them, spending time with them. Then the response is a lot faster.